Juan Dixon gets fired from Coppin State University. Is his career over? We need to talk about this. All right, welcome back to another YouTube video. My name is Giorgio. If you don't know me and you're new here, welcome. I love, love, love catching up with all of my new subscribers. So thank you, thank you, thank you for the support. But before we get into today's video, I do need to remind you, if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Also hit the like button if you like this video and don't forget to hit the notification bell because um, you don't want to miss when I upload or when I go live, which I will start doing a lot more. Um, but let's get into the topic for this video, which is Juan Dixon was fired by Coppin State University. Is this a big shock to anybody? Probably not. But I think it makes the whole lawsuit situation that Juan is entangled in more real and more serious. Not that it wasn't serious before, but now that articles are coming out talking about him being fired from Coppin State, but then referencing this lawsuit, it looks like things are about to start getting very real in the Dixon household. Now, if you remember, this lawsuit was brought up at season seven reunion. Uh, Robin was asked about it. Obviously, Juan was not in attendance because he was at work. So she has to be the mouthpiece for the both of them. So she explained that Juan did everything that he was supposed to do to follow the process. Well, if he did, then why is he named in this lawsuit? And why is it still going ahead with him being named in it, Robin? Or is this another situation where it's like a misunderstanding and it's like, oh, well, Juan was just, he was just helping this person or he felt bad. So he was talking to the person without reporting. I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me. Now, Robin hasn't made any statements about this because she shouldn't. It should be Juan actually making statements about the things that he's doing. And, you know, it's really, really clear as well that the lawsuit is not really the only thing that got the university to be like, maybe it's time for Juan to go. Because a lot of you in the DMV, I live in the DMV, and since you guys obviously know that now, you guys like sharing a lot of information about these two specifically. But when this news came out, I shared it on my TikTok yesterday. A lot of you were DMing me and giving me context saying that, you know, you had even brought up way back in November when the university was basically aligning with Real Housewives of Potomac by having Robin and Giselle host a fundraiser to which a few days later, Giselle was not a part of it anymore. Probably because she was like, I'm not getting involved in this and I don't want to be anywhere near it. Because right around that time is when the lawsuit kind of came out in the press and people were talking about it. Um, and I don't remember what date in November. It was like early November. And I remember it was like within days or maybe a week of the fundraiser like happening, the, the news about the lawsuit happened. So I imagine that Giselle was like, I'm sitting this one out, Robin. You can go handle that by yourself. Thank you. So here we are now. It's also been made um, clear to me, and this is alleged, but the university did not think very highly of these mistress allegations that came out and how explosive everything was and how basically they were shown to be liars. So a lot of people then doubled down to tell me that, you know, his career's over. He's not going to get another coaching job at another university. Like he's done, done. And then I thought about it and I'm like, wow, yeah, I guess he is. So what does that mean for Robin? Because as we know, before Robin came on the show, her and Juan were financially upside down. They talked about it. Uh, one of the things that they decided to share with us. Now, being on the show has turned their lives around like full 180. She's in the green financially. They have a new beautiful house. Okay. Robin was the sole breadwinner in this household already but it's not to say that she doesn't need his income still like he still needs to provide something i'm sure their lifestyle is more expensive now 
they have a big, beautiful house. They have to maintain it. There's, there's things going on. We all have stuff. So it's not as simple as saying, oh, well, she makes all this money on Real Housewives of Potomac. They'll be okay. Yeah, they'll be okay. But if his career is over, does that mean he's got to start dipping his feet in the housewives pond more? Because this would be your only outlet is to help your wife make a better storyline so that you guys can continue to stay on the show and get paid because reasonably shady is not going to, is not going to cut it. No one's, no one's signing up for the Patreon. And you're going to have to start selling some more hats, dear. And also we're going to have to like maybe sort out what could Juan do next? What could Juan do? If he's out coaching basketball, what could he do? Could he be, oh gosh, I don't know. What is something that he could do that people won't be turned off by the cheating allegations and this, that, and the other? I, I mean, maybe you guys can help me in the comments. I can't think of anything, but it's not the end of the world. It's not like his life's over. His career in basketball and coaching is, because this lawsuit isn't, isn't making for a good situation. It doesn't paint a nice picture. And then on top of it, having the stuff come out around this mistress doesn't help. Also, now he's being followed more and he's not being spoken about in the, in the most positive ways. So I'm sure nobody's going to want to touch that. But I want to know what you guys think about this. We've been talking about Juan and Dixon for a while. And here we are. We're at the stage. He's no longer employed by Cop and State. What do you guys think about this? Let me know down below. And let me know also what other career path could Juan take? Because maybe it could be helpful. Maybe Robin will see this video and, and see you guys mentioning different ideas in the comments and, and a light bulb will go off in her head. But nonetheless, until the next video, guys, I will talk to you next time. Bye.